Hi, this is Jean Jo, broker and owner of Harrison Real Estate, and welcome back to Paris and Pulse. Today, I'm going to be talking about our major event happening tomorrow, if you're watching this on May 10th. So if you're planning to attend, please be sure to watch through to the end, especially if this will be your first time joining us, as there will be a lot of useful information. But first, I wanted to speak briefly about real estate, specifically real estate as a generational wealth builder. This seems an appropriate topic since one of the goals of our annual shredding event is to support Mills High School, which my own children attended many years ago. Even though they've long since graduated, I'm still so grateful to be able to support the school, partly just because it's a great school and did well by my own children, but also because great schools help to support home values in our neighborhood. Most Americans believe owning a home is a significant part of achieving the American dream. But today, so many believe that dream is out of reach. One of the most practical ways to leave a financial legacy is to help an adult child or grandchild buy a home. Tapping into your equity helps build generational wealth for your family. In fact, in the U.S. last year, 54% of millennials who purchased a home received help with the down payment. 39% of homeowners own their home free and clear with an average equity of $299,000. If you're one of them, maybe you could tap into some of that equity to help the next generation get their start. According to a study done in 2023 by the National Association of Realtors, the average homeowner has 40 times the net worth of the average renter. And I'm sure we all want to put our families in that kind of situation. Down payment assistance could help them buy in a neighborhood with better schools, helping their children to get ahead in life, or even just for resale value. It can even help your family avoid tapping into retirement accounts in the future to buy a home. The number one reason people want to move in 2024 is to be closer to family. And when it's time for you to downsize, maybe you could relocate to an area where your family acquired a home because you assisted with the purchase. For those of you trying to get on the real estate ladder, maybe it's time to talk with family about getting some help with your down payment. In the meantime, take steps to get your credit score and savings on the right path. If you have any questions on today's topic, give me a call and I'd be happy to help. Next week, I'll be doing a market update on how things went for us in San Mateo County in April. I hope you'll join me for that one as April is usually one of our most active months in the spring selling season and it should be very interesting. Now, before I get into talking about the shredding event tomorrow, I did want to put in one last reminder about our upcoming seminar next week. That seminar will be on investing wisely in the golden years and will be on next Wednesday, May 15th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. via Zoom. Our speaker, Duncan N., will be talking about all the different alternative investment options that you might want to consider compared to the traditional rental property. I hope that many of you will be able to join us for that. And as always, we will have that also recorded on video and provide that on our YouTube channel here. So with that, I'm going to go into the uh, shredding and e-waste recycling event that will be happening tomorrow morning from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. or when our trucks are full. For those of you who are watching it and are have, may have missed the shredding event, uh, you don't need to continue watching this video, but I really encourage you to sign up so that in the future you make sure not to miss um, our events because they're one of our most popular ones. So before you come, make sure to register online ahead of time. Have your ticket readily available on your phone or print it out if you prefer, uh, just that we can check you in and that will help us to expedite the process. To prepare for shredding, first of all, remove papers from any plastic binders or holders. File folders, paper clips, binder clips, and staples do not need to be removed. Uh, the shredders are pretty heavy duty, so you should be okay. We just want to make sure to have the plastic uh, binders or holders removed because they should not be mixed in. Papers may be placed in cardboard boxes or trash bags. Uh, the boxes will be returned to you if we can do so, because uh, that will make it easier for us to have less things to take care of at the end. Uh, the trash bags are fine. Uh, we'll uh, be taking those apart and kind of pouring the documents into the bins before they go into the shredding truck. And finally, please make sure that you place all items in the back of your car where we can access them directly. We will have helpers available to help you unload your cars so you don't even need to come out of the car. For e-waste recycling, you can see here the list of items that are acceptable for uh, the electronic waste. In general, there'll be things like computers, uh, even batteries, uh, printers, etc. Please no household appliances or hazardous waste will be accepted. 
So just to let you know about that. So nothing like refrigerators or anything big like that, but uh, the TVs, flat screens are okay. I have seen them take the uh, the bigger TV, the non-flat screen, but I think this year they might not want to take those. So if you can uh, just see this list here to let you know which items are acceptable for the electronic waste recycling. And again, please place all items in the back of your car where we can access them directly. So when you arrive, first of all, please stay in your car. There are a lot of cars driving around uh, and we want to make sure that everyone stays safe and it just becomes less chaotic if you stay in your car. Our team members will scan your ticket and then ask if you're coming for shredding and or e-waste recycling. From there, please follow directions to the proper lane and be sure to drive safely because there are a lot of cars coming in and out as well as some people walking across to different areas. Do not unload items while you're waiting in line. When you reach the truck, whether it be the shredding or the e-waste recycling truck, we'll ask you at that point to pop open your trunk so that we can unload your items for you. After your items are unloaded, if you would like to stay and make sure your items go into the shredder, you're welcome to move forward and park your car and then wait. Please, again, be mindful of other cars and people. So far, we haven't had any incidences. We've had a couple near misses in previous years. So I just want to make sure that everyone, especially our helpers, are safe, but also all of our attendees. And finally, I hope that you will consider supporting the Mills High School Annual Fund. If you have committed to a donation, or even if you haven't, we will have donation boxes available at both truck sites. Uh, sometimes people try to hand them to me at the very beginning, and I don't want to carry the cash around with me. So uh, please uh, wait until you get to the trucks, and there will be boxes there that you can put the donations into directly. And thank you in advance for supporting our schools. If you have any questions, you can email them to me at gene at genejoe.com or call me at 650-636. 3147. You can also text me, but please note that we may not be able to answer calls once the event has started. This happens to me uh, pretty much every year where somebody will call me to ask questions and it's just too busy at that time that I'm not staring at my phone. I'm not able to look at my phone and I probably won't be able to get back to you until the event is done. So with that, I hope that this video was very helpful for you, especially those who will be attending, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And for those of you who will not be attending but have still watched through to make it to this far to the end of the video, I do want to wish you a wonderfully abundant weekend and week ahead. And I hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and that you will uh, make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have online. Bye-bye.